Hey, how's it going? It seems some people, some of you, have more of a problem with someone saying that parts of gaming culture are toxic than you do when people say that games are for kids. You have more of a problem with someone critiquing games through a feminist lens than you do those who judge you as unmanly if you enjoy video games at all. If a feminist says that video games are for basement dwellers, it's total outrage. If a conservative buddy bro wannabe badass says that video games are for kids, and that no real man should play them, well, that's totally fine. But what, what exactly are you afraid they're going to ban? What are you afraid they're going to do to games? Let's, let's go to extremes. If every single issue that someone like Anita critiques in games were removed, are you saying that games couldn't be fun anymore? The game isn't fun unless you always see the female character's ass. The game isn't fun unless you can shoot hookers. The game isn't fun unless you're rescuing a damsel in distress. The game isn't fun if you can choose a female as the lead. The game isn't fun if there's a gay character in it. The game isn't fun if you can change your character's skin color and outfit. The game isn't fun unless there's lots of blood and gore. The game isn't fun if there's a lot of time spent learning about the characters. I mean, if the point is that games are fun, which one of those things I mentioned would ruin the fun of a game? And yet someone wanting to guilt trip you into not playing video games at all, and the mindset behind the entire traditionalist movement, well that's just fine. Because guilt trips are okay, and they come from a conservative. They're nothing to worry about.